So anyways, we're done with work for the day, which means it's now time for fun. It's and, now time to party in Seattle. And that means for us, uh, you know, some people like to go bar hopping. We like to go coffee bar shop hopping. Dude, look at this dude. Oh, that is pretty. You guys see that? Um, the directions that Zeno gave me, Hold up, and what? they were wrong, and so we are driving all over Carnation to get to this place called Pioneer Square, which is near the ferries and a couple coffee shops in the area that are pretty good. So because of him, we're wasting all this time. So we finished the coffee hopping. Yep. Hit up how many places? Six, five, something like that? Five or six. And it was good. I, you, you know, coffee is coffee, and coffee is, is good. But what makes it even better are the connections and the stories. Yeah. So our best experiences were probably Elm Street because mm -hmm. we connected with the people. Yep. You know, the guy was kind of closed off. He's from Oklahoma City. And he just wanted to go deeper with coffee, and I totally get it. So we moved here. Great, great experience. And then the second was actually Starbucks. I mean, they upped their game, and and the bar has been set. The, ro the roastery, Starbucks roastery. Yeah, that was the best one. Yeah. Now we're heading to uh, Discovery Park. It's about an hour till sunset, and this is where we heard we're going to get the best sunset views. So that's where we're heading. Yeah, we should go. Okay. Yeah. We're literally racing the sunset right now. White shoes were not a good idea. Oh, there's a spot. I see it. I made it. We ran. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. And I really have to pee. Really, really have to pee. Alright, so it's our last day in Seattle. And uh, we're, we're choosing to hashtag opt outside. Oh, look at this car. Real quick. No, you cannot race it. Look at him. Let's go! Let's go! I'm almost going 80. Okay, I'm scared. So, what are we doing today, Justin? We are opting outside. We're after spending two, three days in the city, which the city is gorgeous, we want to experience nature. And all you have to do in the Seattle area is drive 10 minutes outside the city, and there's waterfalls, and snow canyons, and mountains, and hiking. And that's what we're doing today. Let's go see a waterfall, and maybe do a little bit of hiking. Yeah.
So I've, I have a history of looking at a, a location and going all in for getting to that location at all costs. So we might end up, uh, if someone finds this video, we might end up frozen at the bottom of the waterfall. about to explore, I don't even know what river this is. We're going on an adventure, going off the path. All right, Zeta, what are you about to do? I'm gonna jump. My butt is definitely wet. Wow. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, boy. <laughs> I regret saying that. <laughs> All right, so I am stuck right now in Minneapolis airport. Um, my flight out of Seattle was delayed and got into Minneapolis and missed my flight. Now I'm waiting on another flight that might get delayed because of snow. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Um, so the reason that I wanted to do this vlog this week while I was out here in Seattle um, was to kind of challenge myself in a way. Um, if this is something that I want to do to be able to tell stories and make videos and uh, practice my videography a little bit, um, one part of that has to be getting comfortable being in front of the camera um, and talking to the camera and essentially whoever's watching it. Um, and especially doing that in public because it's kind of a nerve-wracking thing and it feels awkward. Um, like I still feel awkward right now sitting at an airport talking to a camera. Um, but I think that's an essential part of it because if I can't be comfortable um, then any story I'm, I'm going to tell or any video I'm going to do is just not going to be um, what I want it to be. So uh, that was kind of the challenge for me this week um, and I think that to be able to continue challenging myself, I need to keep thinking of, all right, what are the things that are gonna make me better? If this is something I want to do, uh, be able to tell stories and make videos, uh, I need to be able to keep challenging myself. And so I think I'm gonna try and do a video every couple of weeks, um, and it may be nothing. It may be like a completely stupid story that I'm telling about like just everyday stuff. But uh, the next challenge that I want to give myself and try to meet is to be able to tell a better story, um, to be able to tell a compelling story that people want to listen to and people uh, enjoy listening to and, and relate to. Um, so that's that's my next challenge. So hopefully I'll be making another video in the next couple of weeks. See you guys then.